Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk, and today is my review on the OnePlus 7T, a 90Hz display which is smooth like never before. So sit back and enjoy my review. So first of all, we're going to take a look around our device. Starting at the top of our device, you've got your antenna bars, which are quite noticeable, and you have a microphone. Coming down the right hand side, you've got your iconic OnePlus slider, it goes between silent, vibrate and ring, so you can choose which option best suits you. And then you have your power or slider sleep wake button. Coming around to the bottom of your device, you have one of your two dual stereo speakers. You've got your USB type C, which is 3.1 for charging and syncing. You've got antenna bars, and also you have your SIM tray here. It's a dual SIM option, and it uses the nano size SIM card, but sadly there's no SD card storage. So coming back to the middle here with your charger, I want to talk about the battery. This is 3,800 milliamp hour. It seems to work really well, and I haven't had any issues. I've been able to go throughout my day without needing to carry an extra charger but I don't need to worry if I do need to carry an extra charger it does charge very fast. So this uses the Warp Charge 30T, the fastest warp charge ever available currently. You can gain 70% charge in just 30 minutes which I think is really impressive. I have tested that out and verified that. Obviously it depends on your device and also depends on the equipment you're using. This is 23% faster than what Warp Charge 30 is so real improvement but it stays cooler. So coming down the left hand side of your device you have your volume control there's sadly no tactile difference but they are slightly raised. You can see your antenna bars, so there's loads of antenna bars here, which means a positive for signal improvement, which is great. Looking down this side as well, you can see the thickness of the device, which is 8.1 millimeters. When it comes around to weight and how it feels in your hand, it's really good. It's very slippery as well, so please put it in the case. I do recommend adding a case to this device, just in case it does slip out of your hands. It does seem to sort of slip and slide everywhere. The weight of this device is 190 grams. So now let's turn around and look at what we're always going to be viewing all the time and that's your display and believe me with OnePlus you're not going to be disappointed. The display size itself is a 6.55 inch which is corner to corner. It's an AMOLED panel. The resolution is 2400 by 1080 which gives us a pixel density of 402 pixels per inch. The aspect ratio for this device is 20 by 9. As you know the key selling point for OnePlus at the moment is its 90 hertz fluid display. It it also offers HDR10+, sRGB and Display P3. Both the front and the back are made up of Corning Gorilla Glass, that's Corning Gorilla Glass 5. It also has an aluminium frame around the outer edge, which looks really nice in this glacier blue. As you know, I'm an advocate for accessibility on devices. And I'm really pleased to say the accessibility features and settings that I found on this device when I filmed my recent accessibility video was very good. So new settings that I hadn't seen before, but all the major settings that are always there and always needed by everyone. So really happy to say that I can actually recommend this device for someone with an accessible need or requirement that needs to change the settings. One thing I didn't pick up in my accessibility video that I want to talk about now is a Two Fry Land certification that this device has for superior blue light reduction and viewing safety, which is really helpful at night time. So it offers a reading mode or night mode, which I did show in the accessibility video. So seeing is truly believing in this device. You must see it to believe it and the 90 Hertz to gain what it means by doing this. It comes preset to 90 Hertz, which I think is really important when you first get your device. You can also change this in the settings if you so want to. But what does 90 Hertz mean? It just means how quickly you can scroll through and fluently. So I'm going to load up Chrome here and I use the website quite a lot for the latest deals, especially through the Black Friday weekend and Cyber Monday. So on this website, if I just flick through, it has no issues, it's just flicking through. But actually, I can read anything, it's actually only my internet that's slowing it down. But just look how quickly I can flick through. You won't get that with a slower hertz rate display. You can see a little bit of difference and why people would choose this and stay with it. But seeing is really believing. I do recommend going out and having a look for yourself. Also, on the front of your display, you're going to notice a little camera here. This is your front facing camera and also it is face unlock. So if I actually look at my device, it unlocks straight away. I also have an inbuilt fingerprint sensor as well. So I can use the inbuilt fingerprint sensor. There we go, that opened up there for me. So the front camera itself is a Sony IMX471 sensor, offers 16 megapixels in size. It's an F2.0 aperture and offers EIS, which is electronic image stabilization. It has a fixed focus, so it does only focus on one point. The video option is at 1080p at 30 frames per second. And while I'm talking about the cameras, you will notice some of the shots I've been taking on the device. So turning around to the rear now, let's talk about the back and actually talk about the triple lens camera on this device, which is really good. 
good and I really do love this glacier blue option. So at the back it is a matted frosted glass with a multi-layer glass design creates a sense of depth and ultra premium look and feel. It is a little bit slippery in hand though. So it is using a 3D Corning Gorilla Glass. Like I said, it is Corning Gorilla Glass 5. And it just has this shimmer and shine in the light just wherever you sort of hold it. And a lot of people have actually been interested and in looking at the color. So as you'll notice, we've got three sensors in here and a dual LED flash. So let's talk about that now. So your main lens, which is your main lens for taking all of your photographs, is the Sony IMX586 sensor. Again, a flagship sensor that we've seen on most 2019 smartphones that I've shown on the channel. Has an f1.6 aperture. It offers OIS, which is optical image stabilization, and EIS, as I said, which is electronic image stabilization. Next to that, you have a telephoto lens, so for your zooming, that's 12 megapixels in size, and that's f2.2. That offers two times optical zoom. Then finally, we have the ultra wide lens, which is one of my favorite ones for 2019. It's where you can get everything and everyone in your shots, and I think it's really important to have nowadays. It's 16 megapixels in size, it's an f2.2 in aperture, and it offers 117 degrees field of view. This is a few degrees off 120. 20 degrees that we've seen on other smartphones but obviously the price point is a little bit different with OnePlus. When it comes around to video you are spoilt for choice and I really do like this. So as a content creator I like to shoot in 4k but I just need a better machine now to render it. So you can record in 4k at 30 or 60 frames per second. You can record at 1080p at 30 or 60 frames per second. Then moving into super slow motion which I've had a lot of fun with. You record at 1080p at 240 frames per second. 720p at 480 frames per second. Per second. Then also 720p at 960 frames per second. This will come via over the air updates so please watch out for that. So one other thing I really do like with the camera is the nightscape mode where you can take photographs in the night and capture your memories when you're having fun with friends or family. They're clean and they're clear and easy to see which I think is really important. There is a little bit of a delay when taking a photograph but I'm really impressed with what the outcome is. So for me ultra wide angle lens is the most important one on a camera. It means you can get everything and every one in your shot. So if you're with family or friends, you can get everyone in there. If you're visiting the world and traveling around, you can take an ultra wide shot and share this with your family and friends when you come home or even on social media. So the actual OnePlus 7T is actually running Oxygen OS 10, which is mixed with Android 10, which is a fast, polished and redefined enhanced stock Android with powerful optimization and sophisticated design. It's about smooth performance and sleek visuals and useful features. So useful features, you might say, what are they? It just means there's different options available when you actually scroll around your device and look at your device with different things. So coming down this side you've got the never settle panel so inside here we've got our steps we've got key applications you've got your favorite applications as well you can also change and adjust and add more to this so coming across actually going through your system is relatively quick as well so you've got your applications here even going into settings as well you get that 90 hertz feel where it just flies through the settings without any hindrance or any pauses. But the system itself is really important. So coming up here, we've got our widgets here that you can change and adjust. And again, you've got different themes that you can choose from. The brightness on this device as well is really important. It's really high. It's really good when you're in bright sunlight. You don't so need it here much in the UK now. So you've got your notification area where you can dismiss one or you can clear all. So I've got the three capacitive touch buttons because I need access to the accessibility icon that comes down here to the bottom right hand corner. But by using these, you can go back, you can go home, and you can also see your open applications, which I can dismiss one by one, or I can actually clear all. For clearing all, it dismisses them all. So I've also changed the wallpaper and added a widget here, which is called Zen Mode. It says here, phone down and enjoy life. So let's go into Zen Mode and actually talk about Zen Mode. So Zen Mode allows you to put your phone down and actually enjoy your life. So let's go. It says here, hey there, here are some rules that you need to know. Zen mode can't be cancelled once it's started. Incoming notifications will be temporarily muted. You may still receive phone calls and make emergency calls. All of your apps will be temporarily locked except for the camera. So we know the rules now and we can hit confirm here. So it's going to start Zen mode. I'm actually going to cancel because I want to carry on with the review. But phone down and enjoy life and I highly recommend that, especially through the Christmas and the holiday period. Put your phone down, go and spend it with family, go and spend it with friends and enjoy life. Coming from me as a social media content creator and a YouTuber, I'm always looking at my phone, but I always make sure to make time for family and friends. So moving on to power and performance now, and this is where the OnePlus 7T for me has just sort of shined above other devices. It's just been so fluid and it just works so effortlessly. So it's powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus processor, which is the latest one for 2019. It has an optical processor 
processor in there, which is seven nanometers in size, and offers speeds up to 2.96 gigahertz. It also comes with Qualcomm AI engine, so it helps with AI technology throughout your device. When it comes to gaming, as well as the Adreno 640, again, which is the flagship model for 2019. It offers eight gigabytes of RAM, so there's enough RAM, and 128 gigabytes of internal storage, which is UFS 3.0, which means it's faster and more fluid of getting your files and getting all the information you need. This device also comes with security, which I'm really pleased about. One of them being face unlock. So if I lock my device, open it up and it's straight away. That's how quick it is. It is instant. And that's thanks to the power and performance and the actual quickness of Oxygen OS. But if I close my eyes, it shouldn't open. No, as soon as I open my eyes, it opens. So close my eyes open my eyes, it opens, which is amazing. So if I don't use the face unlock, I can also actually tap my display and use the inbuilt fingerprint sensor here. I prefer the face unlock, it's quick and very easy to use. So like I said, it offers dual stereo speakers and also comes with Dolby Atmos. So let's check out a movie trailer now. Life's not fair, is it my little friend? While some are born to feast, others spend their lives in the dark. Begging for scraps. Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. for what they can take. A true king searches for what he can give. Run away, Simba. And never return. I'm really pleased with the visual and audio experience I received from the OnePlus 7T and I hope you enjoyed that movie trailer there. It also offers noise cancellation support. A couple of other things I just want to highlight in this section is that it offers Bluetooth 5.0 and also NFC for payments. So a lot of people use NFC now for payments. Another thing that I found as well and I really do like is improved vibration and it has a haptic feedback and it feels nicer when you're actually typing or moving around your device. It's accurate and more satisfying and simply better than ever before. It also comes with Fanatic mode. So turn your OnePlus 7T into a dedicated gaming powerhouse for smooth, uninterrupted gaming bliss. Again, this works with certain games and I know PUBG is one of them. So turning around to my personal thoughts, I've had this device now two to four weeks and I've really enjoyed it. It's connected to a network and I've been using it all the time as sort of like my social media device when I'm out and about taking photographs and really enjoying it. A lot of people have complimented on the color I really do like this color. I think OnePlus have really nailed it here with the glacier blue option. This does come along with the OnePlus 7T Pro and also the McLaren edition, which we'll be taking a look at later on the channel. A couple of things for me to point out is the camera is really good. The camera is crisp, clean, and easy to use as well. The application is nice and the Oxygen OS is making it possible. I really do like Oxygen OS as it does take stock Android. It just makes it a little bit faster and a little bit more smoother for me. The battery has been good as well. It's lasted me all day, but I don't need to be disappointed if it doesn't because with the Warp Charge 30T, it can just charge up so fast anyway in the background. Make sure you always use the iconic red cable together to get the best charge possible. So one thing I am a little bit worried about that I have no Notice here is the screen. So I've actually got a scratch on my screen, which I noticed from my unboxing. I'm a little bit worried about that because it's Corning Gorilla Glass 5. I didn't expect that. Also, the protection 
on the screen here, it started to lift as well, which is a little bit disappointing. Again, this will change from model to model, but as this is a press unit, it goes through multiple different hands. Overall though, the phone has worked well, I haven't been disappointed. When it comes to price though, this is where it's a selling point for me massively. So all these specs, all the features that I've gone through and highlighted will cost you £549 SIM free. So you're getting so much out of your device for such a little amount. I think that's really good. There will be a link to OnePlus's website here in the UK and abroad as well, so people can go and check it out for themselves. But also, I wanna know what you think as well as my audience. Did you actually experience the OnePlus 7T yourself? Have you looked at the OnePlus 7 as we did earlier on in the year? And what do you think? Is it worth an upgrade? I believe this version is compared to the Pro variant, and I do highly recommend the T variant. But it all depends down to you. If you have one of the new devices, the T series, please do let me know what you think. It's always it's great to hear from you. So from me and the OnePlus 7T in this glassier blue, thanks always for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.